Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this crochet turtleneck poncho you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 6mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small to medium. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. The yarn I used was Line Brand Heartland. I used about 7 balls for the size small to medium. So begin by making a chain of 12. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every chain to the end. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work then we're going to single crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And then repeat this row until you have a total of 109 rows completed. So here I've just done a sample piece, I've done 37 rows, but you are going to do 109 rows. So once you have your 109 rows completed, we are going to single crochet all the way across the top. We're going to chain one and then make 109 single crochet. So now you should have 109 single crochet. For the next row, chain 3 and then turn your work. This chain 3 counts as our first double crochet. So next you're going to make another 5 double crochet. So now you should have a total of six double crochet. So next chain one, skip the next stitch and then make five double crochet. And you're going to repeat that, we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and then make five double crochet and repeat that all the way across. Here we are towards the end of the row. So we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and then make six double crochet. Next, chain one and then turn your work. 
make six single crochet chain one skip over that chain one space then make five single crochet and repeat that chain one skip that chain one space and then make five single crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across At the end of the row, chain one, skip that chain one space and then make six single crochet. For the next row, chain three and then turn your work. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. So into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over twice and then two rows down count four double crochets so right here around that stitch insert your hook around that stitch pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through the last three then we're going to work directly behind that front post and we're going to make three double crochets. Yarn over twice and then around that same stitch, just right there, insert your hook around that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Now 
chain one, skip over that chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, then count three double crochets in, it's the very middle double crochet, insert your hook around that post, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then into the next single crochet directly behind, make one double crochet, and then make a double crochet into each of the next two single crochets. So all together you have three double crochet. So now we're going to be working around that same double crochet, two rows down. So yarn over twice, insert your hook around that same double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next chain one space, into the next single crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the middle double crochet, so wrap your hook around that stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then directly behind, make three double crochet, Yarn over twice, insert your hook around that same double crochet, two rows down. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are at the end of the row, chain one, 
skip that chain one space into the next single crochet yarn over insert your hook pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over twice and then count four double crochets in around that double crochet insert your hook pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three then directly behind that stitch make three double crochets Then around that same double crochet, two rows down, yarn over twice, insert your hook around the post of that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So now you have one single crochet left. Into that stitch, make one double crochet. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work. Make six single crochet. chain one skip the next chain one space and then make five single crochet and repeat that all the way across chain one skip the next chain one space and then make five single crochet at the end of the row chain one skip the next chain one space and then make six single crochet Now the next two rows form the pattern so chain three and then turn your work don't forget this chain three counts as your first double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two then yarn over twice and here in between this V you will see a center double crochet so we're going to work around that double crochet so insert your hook around the post pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three then make three double crochets into the stitches directly behind Then working around that same double crochet two rows below, yarn over twice, insert your hook around that double crochet, 
pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Chain one, skip that chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, find your center double crochet between that V, insert your hook around that double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Directly behind that stitch, make three double crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook around that same double crochet two rows down. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the next single crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. Here we are at the end of the row, chain one, skip that chain one space, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, find your middle double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Then make three double crochets. Yarn over twice, insert your hook around that same double crochet, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. You have one single crochet left, so make one double crochet. For the next row, chain one and then turn your work. Make six single crochet. Chain one skip the next chain one space and then make five single crochet. And repeat that all the way across, chain one, skip the next chain one space and then make five single crochet. At the end of the row, chain one, skip that chain one space and then make six single crochet. So 
So repeat those last two rows until your entire panel measures about 24 inches long. If you want your poncho longer than that, just add more rows, but make sure to end on the single crochet row. So once you have 24 inches long, we're just going to fasten off, leave a long tail and then go ahead and make the second panel the same way. When you have both panels finished, we're going to lay both panels with their right sides facing each other. Then you're going to mark out the center 10 inches with stitch markers. Make sure that you have the same amount of stitches on each side of these stitch markers. And then with your yarn needle, sew from here to that stitch marker and then sew from here to the next stitch marker. For the collar, chain 39. Into the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet and then single crochet into every chain to the end. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. Then working into the back loop, single crochet into every stitch all the way across. Repeat this row until your collar measures 20 inches long. So next we're going to slip stitch the two ends together. And then you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now we're going to go back to our panels. We're going to make sure that the right side is facing out. We're going to attach our yarn here. And we're going to single crochet all the way around until you reach the other side. Once your yarn is attached, pull your yarn through and then chain one. Single crochet into that same stitch and continue with your single crochet all the way around. Now you're going to grab three stitch markers. These are going to be your buttonholes. So from where you are now, count 11 stitches, place your stitch marker, then from that stitch marker, count 11, and then 11 for the next one. So now continuing on from where you are now, chain 8. single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each of the next six chains.
So now you should have seven single crochet. We're going to skip that next single crochet and then slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Then turn your work, skip over those last two slip stitches and then working into the back loop of the next seven single crochet, make one single crochet into each of these stitches. Chain one, turn your work, make seven single crochet working into the back loop only. Slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet. Turn your work. Skip over those two slip stitches. Work seven single crochet working into the back loop only. So you're going to repeat that all the way around until you reach the other side. We're going to chain one, then single crochet seven stitches working into the back loop only. Then we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet, then turn our work. And then we're going to skip over those two slip stitches and then work seven single crochet working into the back loop only. And we're going to repeat that until we reach our first stitch marker. So once you've reached your stitch marker, after you've done your slip stitches, turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches, then work three single crochet working into the back loop only. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and then work three single crochet working into the back loop only. Chain 
chain one, turn your work, work three single crochet working into the back loop only. When you reach your chain one space just insert your hook through that hole and make a single crochet and then make three single crochet working into the back loop only. Slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet and then turn your work. Make your seven single crochet working into the back loop only and just continue on with your rib pattern until you reach your next stitch marker and then you're going to create your buttonhole just like I showed you and then keep going on with your third buttonhole in the same way. Once you have your third buttonhole completed, just do regular ribbing all the way around until you reach the other side. When you have that done, we're just going to fasten off. Once you have this side done, go over and do the other side. You're going to attach your yarn to the other side, single crochet all the way around, and then do your ribbing just like you did on this side. And then, of course, include all your buttonholes like you did on the first side. Once you have that done, just fasten off. Next, we're going to sew our collar to our poncho. We're going to make sure the poncho is the wrong side out and then just sew your collar to the main body of the poncho. Next, sew on your buttons on both sides then all you've left to do now is just weave in all your ends and you're good to go. If you liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. Until next time, take care.